Humans are fascinated by the seahorse, related to the pipefish and leafy sea dragon. A seahorse can be as large as 35 centimetres in length, or as small as 16 millimetres, as was recently discovered in the hippocampus Denise, the smallest of the species. Seahorses are generally monogamous. The male and female will greet one another with courtship displays in the morning, and for the rest of the day they will spend their time separate from each other, hunting for food. The seahorse has a dorsal fin located on the lower body and pectoral fins located on the head near their gills. The most curious part about the seahorse is that it is the male that becomes pregnant. The female inserts eggs into the male's brood pouch and the male fertilizes the eggs which hatch two to three weeks later. Its relative, the leafy sea dragon, has a pectoral fin on the ridge of its neck and a dorsal fin on its back closer to the tail end. And like the seahorse, the leafy sea dragon's name is derived from its resemblance to another creature, in this case a mythical one. The leafy sea dragon is currently an endangered species. The moon jelly is found throughout Australia these are equipped with stinging cells to capture small prey that are dragged inward towards the mouth. The outer edge of the bell also has tentacles, as well as eight special sensory organs that tell the jellyfish where it is in the water column. The moon jelly is one of the favourite foods of many species of turtles. It can be up to 40 centimetres long, and despite its stinging cells, it is totally harmless to humans.